it's not just the food delivery segment. The winds of change are blowing through the IT sector as well. Tech companies are increasingly venturing into smaller cities in search of talent, and they're finding a good amount of it too. So much so that these IT majors are going to step forward to set up offices in cities like Coimbatore, Bhubaneswar, Lucknow, and Jaipur. In our next report, we dive into the reasons for the shift from the big metros. In February, it was reported that Accenture was setting up offices in Jaipur and Coimbatore. With this move, the company aims to access more talent and give its employees greater flexibility regarding where they want to work from. In the past, Accenture has primarily operated in Indian metros. In March, IBM Consulting told a financial daily that it was opening new IBM client innovation centers in Kochi and Coimbatore. And in December last year, Tata Consultancy Services had announced that it would invest $100 million to establish a new outsourcing facility in Indore. Infosys has also earmarked $27 million for a software center in Indore. The IT giant is also investing a similar amount to set up a campus in Nagpur. In September last year, Wipro had opened a software hub in Vishakhapatnam that will employ 2,000 people. Meanwhile, Zoho is taking things a notch further. In March last year, it had announced that it would open additional satellite offices with seat 20 to 30 employees in rural and non-urban areas across India. Then, in September, Zoho said that it had plans to hire about 2,000 people for its rural offices by December end. These are not isolated incidents, but part of a broader trend that started sometime before the pandemic for some companies and then found broader traction with the overall tech industry once the full effects of the pandemic were felt. Citing a Parikh consultant study, a financial daily has said that IT, IT-enabled services and engineering services companies have created a physical presence in 27 Tier 2 cities. These cities include the likes of Kakinada, Vizag and Vijayawada. Clearly, Tier 2 cities have been the biggest beneficiaries as tech firms look beyond the metros. However, reports and industry insiders suggest that Tier 3 cities also stand to benefit. NASCOM Senior VP and Chief Strategy Officer Sangeeta Gupta told Business Standard that the digitization tsunami as well as the acceptance and expanding investment in new technologies has raised demand for digital skills. This, she says, has resulted in a talent war that is widening the demand-supply imbalance. Businesses can overcome the talent shortage by recruiting workers in smaller cities thanks to innovative working models that remove geographical restrictions. According to Gupta, with significant cost arbitrage, thriving infrastructure and smart city efforts, Tier 2 cities have become more appealing for tapping into talent pools. The NASCOM Strategic Review 2022 revealed that currently over 35 technology companies have 50-plus delivery locations and are further growing their coverage across Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. Tech Mahindra has been one of the early adopters of this trend, and the factors that have driven its decisions shed light on why IT companies are aggressively looking beyond the metros. The logic really was very clear that A, we wanted to tap the potential of towns that were near academia. But more importantly, because of this whole pandemic and the great resignation, uh, tier one towns were getting heated up. Heated up when I say, I mean, one, there was no talent available. Uh, there was a greater, uh, what we call ONJ, which means when you make the offer, people don't join. And third, of course, the cost was getting, was skyrocketing actually, and almost two to three times higher. So we went into these nine cities and we clearly uh, went with the objective of hiring niche skills uh, and at, a, at an uh, you know, optimum cost and where we could have lesser dropouts and more longevity of service. So, what are the other factors driving this trend? 
First, the adoption of the work from home model due to the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted that employees don't need to be based in metro cities to execute projects. Many young employees had to return to the smaller cities from where they hailed due to work from home. Companies will find that some of them might be hesitant in returning to metros with their hour-long office commutes and sky-high rents. As dining and entertainment options in these smaller cities catch up with the bigger metros, there's even less of a motivation for young graduates to leave their hometowns. Tech companies are also adopting worker-centric models thanks to the pandemic, and they have good reasons to do so. Microsoft conducted a survey of 30,000 employees and found that 80% wanted to work remotely. A Zerodha survey found that only 8% of employees wanted to return to the office full-time. Meanwhile, 67% said that they would move to Tier 2 or Tier 3 cities and towns if working from home was allowed permanently. In a post-pandemic environment, where hybrid workplace and work-from-anywhere trends are picking up in a massive way, the future for flex space is extremely promising. Particularly in the sector of IT-ITES, we've seen a lot of Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities uh, picking up demand, particularly cities such as Coimbatore, Indore, Ahmedabad are seeing rapid demand in growth for office spaces, driven finally by the availability of a lot of good talent who have an increasing preference to stay near home where particularly the cost of living is lower and particularly as we see the future evolve, tier 2 and tier 3 cities, particularly from the dimension of hub and spoke model, is going to continue having an extremely strong demand. With smaller cities now coming up on the IT and technology sector's radar, growth, employment opportunities and development should spread more evenly across the country instead of being limited to a handful of metros. This would be a welcome development if the trend sustains.